Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dave Sebastian, coordinator of Mentoring Arts Programming for Wayside. Uh, we are back together again on today is Friday, April 22nd. I'm excited to be back with you guys. We are, uh, we finished our project yesterday, went along really good. Um, you know, finished up that collage. I could show you. There's that. I don't even know if you guys can see that. Let's see, we'll try this. <clears throat> Came out really good. Had a really good time. So we are today going to work on a couple of quick projects, um, but mostly it's about Abe. Excuse me, Abe Sapien from the Hellboy universe. Uh, really cool fishman character. Super excited to uh, to draw him. I am making my way through. I think it's like sixteen or seventeen Hellboy um, characters to put them together at a cocktail party on a surfboard. Not going to lie, I'm super nervous about getting involved in painting a surfboard, which is 93 inches uh, by 18, um, and finding myself completely buried and uh, not able to finish or, or something, you know. So um, wish me luck with that. These projects are what's going to ultimately make it um, happen, which I think is going to be cool. Um, so I guess that's kind of the deal. Uh, so that's what we're going to work on today. Before we get into it, I want to tell you guys about our in-person programming. Excuse me. In-person programming, which is Wednesday and Thursday from 11 to 6 at 68 Henry Street in Framingham. My studio is in the basement of that building. Our, rent our entrance is around the left side in the back. If anybody is interested in coming by, the program is for young adults 16 to 26 years of age. It is free, um, and I'd really be interested in spending some time with any of you guys out there that's interested, that are willing to come in. If you're interested in creating artwork and stuff, that would be awesome, but even if not, um, there's a lot of, you know, like socializing that goes on. We have a chicken that comes in occasionally, a pigeon that comes in occasionally. These are therapy animals as opposed to ones that simply come in the open window. Uh, <laughs> uh, we haven't had a lot of those, maybe any of those, actually. I'm open to it, though. So if you, any of you pigeons or chickens out there that are looking for something to do, on a Wednesday and Thursday, just come by, you know, like we'll make it work. <laughs> just kidding, you guys. Um, so before we, you know, so that's the deal with those things. If you guys are interested, come on down, you know, like, uh, like I said, it's free. Um, and it's a good time. I, I think, you know, I mean, it's been a few new young adults lately and it seems as though they're having a good time. I hope they're having a good time. Um, Yeah, so come on over if you feel like doing it. Um, I am there all the time. It's a uh, drop-in program, so you don't have to come for the whole day. You don't have to call me ahead of time. You just come by and do what you feel like doing and be a part of, uh, of the joy of our creation. Which is something I really, really enjoy doing. Before we get into our Abe drawing... I want to um, to hit up this surface we're working on right now. I'm doing a skate show. Excuse me. Um, I'm doing a skate show that's up right now. And um, they were asking for a little bit more information about the development of the show. So I've created this uh, really simple um, a paragraph of information about myself and my programs. And about the motive, about the motivation um, to do this particular project, which I 
the motivation was basically I had a whole bunch of skateboards. <laughs> uh, that's not totally true. I did have a whole bunch of skateboards, so that's totally true. But um, I really got into this idea of doing it because it is a universally recognized shape, the skateboard. Um, so I think it's going to be fun. Got to get the rest of this junk out of here, though was just using red for the underpainting. All right, so now we're gonna switch over to opaque white. Once in a while, it's a good idea to blow the dust off my area, since I am extremely messy, especially with collage stuff, you know, that's just real messy stuff. There we go, just to make all my family crazy, because I get stuff all over the place. All right. All right, so we're just uh, real quick working on um, this piece. We'll just get the uh, push this on the little over a little. So we're just going to hit this up a couple times real quick. This will be the sign for that show. I wanted to do this the opposite way. You know, leave the letters white, leave them white, um, and paint everything else, which would make the letters uh, positives. But the letters were simply too small to do that in, in any effective way. So I decided I had to bail out on it.
to let that dry for a few. So we pull the stencil off. This is opaque white, but it seems to not want to... Red is a real hard thing to cover with anything. Which is why I really wanted to do these with uh, the opposite direction. So that the red would not be going over, wouldn't be going over the red. Or from here it actually doesn't really look very red. It looks kind of purple. All right. Uh, all right. So we're going to get into, this was our last Hellboy um, character that we did. Koshi the Deathless. Uh, you know, we did the Black Flame. Um, Joanne Krauss, the Ectoplasmic Man. And this is Yuri from um, BPRD, Russia. Don't really know anything else about that guy, but god damn, he's cool looking. All right. This one I'm going to go a little bit different than I've been doing. There it is. Right. So I'm using water soluble graphite pencils. Because I've noticed that if um, you draw with a regular pencil, when you go to um, to put the ink tents and the wash on, you're start you're basically like sealing the pencil drawing. Um, and obviously, not every pencil drawing, not everything about the pencil drawing is always successful. So uh, I wanted to make sure that. Um, I could take that away, you know, take away my pencil lines if they were wrong. So water soluble graphite allows you to um, break down the graphite lines into a gray tone and depend it on the pencil. This one here is a light wash. This one's a medium wash. Oh, this one's also a light. I don't know where my other one is. There it is. We got a light wash, a dark wash, and around here, oh, there we go, and a medium. So you've got a pretty good spectrum there, you know. Um, I'm going to start the sketch with a light wash pencil. Um, I am working from the artwork of Sebastian Fioroma, Fioyuri, Fioyura, Fiu or Mora, Fiu F I U Mora, M A O R A. Um, anyway. That was like really easy for me to say, which is from issue 34 of the Abe Sapien series. Um, I am a huge Hellboy fan, uh, but I am honestly way behind BPRD Hellboy. I was in a comic shop yesterday and Koshi the Deathless have his own book. Rasputin has his own book. Uh, Valeria, everyone in the series has their own book, except Hellboy, who hasn't been around in a little bit. <laughs> Though I think he's coming back now, you know. Um, all right. All right. So this one is different. I've done all the others upright. This one will be um, not upright. <laughs> so we're going to get Abe's head in here. And we'll get his... Basically, we're going to... Up a little. Yeah. All right. Get some tube action going on for Abe. Kind of wanted to try to get a little bit more of his body in here, but got to have room for this arm.
איזה ארבע רע פה ולא. Shirtle, shirtle, <laughs> shoulder girdle in there, shirtle girdle. This guy has a great way of drawing um, Abe that he has kind of like a bulbous head like a fish. Most other folks draw him kind of. Well, I really like the way Tyler Crook draws him. Um, but to be honest with you, I like the way a lot of people draw Hellboy stuff. Because it's an awesome, awesome universe.
Just one sec, you guys. Sorry about that, guys. My dog needed to get outside. She's like, hey, somebody's barking. Don't you guys hear me barking? I did not. <laughs> All right, we got Abe's ribs in here. More racing. Oops. Whoop. Take one sec from Abe. Take a look at our lettering here.
Let's get a little of this darkness happening in here.
Seriously? I want you out now. Stay right out. Out. Get out. Get out. Half an hour you stay out of there. Son, could you try to make them stop crying every time you talk to them? Okay, you know it's gonna hurt them. Don't do it. Okay? Please just stop. I don't care. You're playing. Stop making them cry. He was putting his on my arm. Sean, you're wrestling. You were wrestling. I watched you do it. Okay? It's fine as long as you don't try to hurt him. Which you did. Sean, stop. Sorry, guys. Today is a mess. All over the damn place. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Right. Now, unfortunately, I got this real problem where I <laughs> rub my hands all over the artwork, basically covering all of the background with smudged graphite. Now, true enough, doesn't matter that much because I can, I will be softening up the graphite anyway so doesn't matter that much but still I'll try over to a pretty good size water brush. I am using, this is a, uh, a Maltau water brush in a 10 millimeter size. This guy right now has some white in him. It doesn't really matter that much, but.
a ruler. I got one in here, I believe. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna get some kind of crazy green going on.
Oops.
Hey. Hey. What's happening? I'm ready. What's happening with you? Yeah, you know, hanging out, hanging around with my friends here on the Did Facebook. Did you know that it's your birthday? No. How you're telling them? Ah, look, it's Molly. It's his birthday. Oh, it's not my birthday. She's—I totally made it, it up. Is, it she is believes me, but she's wrong. It is your birthday. You want to hear something funny, you guys? I made these uh, these muffin kind of things, and they had dog food in them, and everybody ate them anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. They, they, they were just bread. They're wrong. Dog food. The Rotten Gun Club. The Rotten Gun Club? Yeah. Okay. How's that baby doing? Good. You're not hanging out with her? Mm. I mean, I'm just going to be at my Molly is a very busy lady. Can we put the skateboard up in the room? We're going to paint over that middle oh, one and fix it. I think it's fine. No, it's terrible. we got to fix it. It's my skateboard. I will help you. We'll it's skate right over the middle and we'll put a new one there. It's my we'll leave the chimney. I like the chimney. Everything else is terrible. It's my skateboard. We'll have a, like a bay window in it. Inside, there'll be a fire and a bunch of Smurfs hanging out. Inside the Smurfs, there'll be like rats on them. <clears throat> Who keeps doing that with the horn? Mom. Mom's car. Love you. I had to close the door. Sorry, you guys. Hey.
I've baby napped. Hey, girly. He's kidnapped Macy from my arms. <laughs> Where did your mom have to go? I don't know where she went. Is that Hellboy's friend? Yep. I can't. It's six thirty-six. Yeah, I started late again. I'm about twenty minutes. Twenty minutes in from the end. You're ending at seven. I guess so. What? It's ridiculous. Dad, you know how you said Sean couldn't get on a trampoline? He lost it. 15 he minutes, I said. He got off and went back in. Ew. Oh. There's paint in it. No, nah, it doesn't. Guess it does. <laughs> they can't see it's um, the thing, the Mac. The what? The Big Mac. What's that faint music? Uh, this is just music that's on the machine over there. This is cool. What is, oh yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> he kind of is. The band. Outlaw and Outsiders. And it says Who I Am. The thing should be called Who I Am. And the band should be. Can you put it back on the reference? What do you mean? The picture I was using on the other screen. Oh. Thanks. Why do they call him Ape Sapien? That's his name. Leave it alone, okay? I'm just looking at it. They actually call him that because they found him in the basement of the White House in a tank. In a tank? Yeah, and on the on a sticker or on a piece of paper taped to the front was the day that Abraham Lincoln died. You know who Abraham Lincoln is? Of course I do. So, they called him Abe because of that. And then they found his last name was Sapien. And it said Ichtho Sapien under that. So they were like, okay, let's call him Abe Sapien. His real name is Langston uh, Call. How did he become a fish? They're not sure experiments that they had done. On but nobody's really sure. But then why was he, he was like a scientist, the Langston call guy in the 1800s why would abraham lincoln why would abraham lincoln's death date be on it who knows maybe that was the day they finished working on it or some folks thought that maybe like 
Abe Lincoln had paid them, you know, how it was like developing this science for the Civil War, you know, so that he could use fishmen against uh, bad guys. But then they'd be like, um, the fish would be in the water and they'd be like, oh, you're glad you're not being in here. Yeah. Why would they fight Stop. in the water? Abe is really strong. Yeah, but he's so he's a good warrior in the water. He can swim really hard and really fast. Not in the water? Then they wouldn't be using a fish man, right? It's a water attack. Seems like it. Submarines. Love you. Love you too, buddy. Please leave that alone. I just took it out of my ear. Okay. Did it stop? Yeah. Thanks. Finally, you got off the trampoline. Oh, you took it off my reference again. What does that mean? Off the picture of Abe, man. <laughs> Thank you. Watching extra detail? Yeah, a little bit here and there. Love you. Whoa. Love you. Try to remember to push those closed when you're done with them. What? Just push the drawers closed when you're done with them. I'm trying to. You're awesome. Love you. Love you too. Hmm. I thought you guys are going to Grammys. What do you mean? Mom said something? No, Mom said you guys were going to Grammys. No one's there. Totally true. She had to get something from Grammys. Oh. And she went there when she went to get the bite. The wipes for the baby. Oh. She's back now. She just pulled them. Love you. Love you, dude. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, Mac.
Whoop. <laughs> that ain't gonna fit. Let's take a sec from Abe here. Oh, that's fantastic. Hmm. One This is really the wrong brush.
Mm. Oh, it sounds like my cat's coming in here. I lost my dog this week and she was always coming up here. If you guys have watched my stream before, you know, she loved to come up here, hang out with us. I miss her doing that. Way.
most guys.
All right, you guys. That is all we have time for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, we finished up both of the, really, not both, but this piece is good to go. I mean, a little bit of touch up here and there. But basically, excuse me. Uh, and we did real good on Abe. We're not totally done, but definitely in the home stretch. Um, so if you guys want to come back um, on Monday, we will be continuing with Abe or beginning the next Hellboy character, who I think is either Rasputin or... Um, or I don't know, Miss Corrigan. Oh, what's her name? Liz Sherman. She's the pyrokinetic on the show, on the series. Awesome. Maybe her. All right. So thanks a lot, you guys. You have a fantastic day, and I will catch.